All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 198 pounds. The great, and now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York. All right, give me the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for it. They touch him up, and we are underway. Classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. It's the elbow there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice head kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice leg kick land. Oh, 
single collar tie here. So really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Unable to connect there. Need another left hand there. Oh, big left hook there. Huge block there. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. Single collar tie now. Ooh, Ooh wee, what a right hand by this young man. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, he heard him battle his jab. Oh! Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Oh! Such a fast leg kick. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Beautiful body kick. Oh, connects with the one, two. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And they separate. Great punch. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He dictated the fight with a jab. Got the single collar tie. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too. Because when they're reaching out to catch that kick, here come the high kick. And you're in a lot of trouble. is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Nice punch lands on the top. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Big kick. All right, he'll engage 
advantage in a single collar tie. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, what a punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Muay Thai plump. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ooh, and he caught the kick. And now he's got that tie clinch. Punches block. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job. He's accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Can't take many of those, you better check. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Oh, big punch land. He lands the head kick. <sighs> Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big punch from the clinch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. And he continues to work the body here. He blocks the shot. A little single collar tie there. Beautiful hit. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. There's no tell on that leg. Back hit. and forth we go. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, he's so educated, he's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. The cut man is going to give that some attention, but that's not an ideal location either. That blood is getting into the mouth. Ugly stuff for him to deal with here. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from Just both like competitors. Like they both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure 
they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Checks the leg kick. Look at the turnover in that kick. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. to work the body to great effect. A real quick leg kick. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Lost the shot to the body. Back and forth we go here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking class. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him. He's oh! really messing with the game plan. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he's hit. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing, boxing. Oh, huge block! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, it's a nice job to land the knee upstairs there. That's going to leave a mark. And again, we talk about the size advantage. He certainly put it to good use there. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice strike. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Big head kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. All right, single collar tie now. Nice. Looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Boom! Big jab. Just misses with the left hook. Right there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. 
That was a thudding leg kick. That three rounds in the can right. were headed to the championship round. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Nice head kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Good punch. Nice head kicks. He blocks the punch. Another shot lands upstairs. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. And they separate. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Right on the button. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Nice sneaky head kick. to go. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top, DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a real good job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing at the top of your opponent like that. You gotta watch for up kick. Notice how he leads with his hip when he goes to land strike. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Let's go, let's go, finish this, guys. Under a minute now to go in the round. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, huge knee to the head. Perfect. 
perfectly timed and placed. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Single collar tie now. Slips. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time an opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. for the end of round four. All right, so a big round four in there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Next round, guys. You ready? You ready? Fifth Let's go fight. and final round. Straight punch land. <laughs> oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice punch there. Well, you can chalk this up to a forgettable night at the office. He is losing the fight. His cardio is essentially on empty. Might be time to pass that control. It's time to pass the stick. <laughs> Hand it over to your homeboy, man. It's over. You tried, and there's an A for effort, but it's over. Lunges forward with a left there. Wow! <laughs> Holding on to him here, not really doing... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. And they both stand up. Fighter's pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's gotta get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Whoa!
Well, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the world. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 57 seconds of round number 5. Playing the winner by knockout, All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.